I am Linda van Tilburg for Bears News. In South Africa, more than 8 million of our 12 and a half million school pupils walk to school as their families cannot afford private transportation. Well, this inaccessibility impacts students' ability to attend full time, with many taking more than 30 minutes to walk each way on a given day. Well, this disparity puts many children at a disadvantage and they fall behind. Well, a non profit organization, the Love Trust, who runs in Nokopila School in Tembisa, has come up with a plan to provide safe and dependable transport to their pupils. And we have Matsia Motemela to tell us more about that. Hi, uh, Matsia, how are you? Hi, Linda. Well, nice so, to be here today. So nice that you're joining us. So what is the this inspiration pro- for providing transport for your school? Um, well, the Love Trust was founded in 2009 and Nogupila School was founded in 2010 as a flagship pro- project of the Love Trust. And since inception, really, um, because we've had um, three-year-olds coming to school and in Great Triple North, um, we thought it was a good idea to make coming to school safe for them. So we decided to have a, a school transport, um, which started out as a mini bus and has grown to four buses. But more about the school. How many pupils do you have? What grades do they are they? Okay, so we started out with 45 preschool learners in grade triple note, and now we've got 383 learners in preschool, uh, primary school, and recently a high school. So what kind of curriculum do you follow? We follow the CAPS curriculum. Okay, so what does that involve for people who might not know? Um, So that's the standardized um curriculum for government schools in South Africa. So what has the impact been of providing transport for kids? Um, So our children uh, hail from the township of Tembisa, which is riddled with um, poverty, with crime. And so the ability to provide transport has really impacted their lives in that the children are not running off um, banking schools and not coming to school. Um, they are not experiencing bullying on their way to school. They don't have to travel long distances just to get to school. So they are safer. Well, I'm thinking of girls who know who are not very safe in South Africa as they walk to school. So what difference did it make to the lives of girls? We always have our parents um, remarking about the stats that we see on the news about um, child abductions and the peace of mind that comes with having safe transport for their children, it's, it's unmatched. So do you have testimonials or sp- specific stories you can tell us from students or their families, like examples of what a difference it made? Okay, so we've got a few. Um, one of them uh, is because our children are about three years old when they start at Nogopila School, um, it would be extremely difficult for our parents who are either unemployed or earn below minimum wage to bring them to school and then go back home. So you've got a program that businesses can sponsor um, a child or this program. So how does that work? So the sponsor a seat program. um, So for both local and international um, businesses, they can go onto our Give and Gain site and search for Love Trust. We've got a campaign running on the where we have stated what our costs are for the year to be able to transport children to and from school daily. And they can get involved by um, contributing as little as 8,000 rand, which is the price of a seat on the school bus. And how many seats um, can be sponsored? So what is sort of the amount that you're thinking of if somebody wants to sponsor a whole bus? Wow. Okay. Uh, Sponsor a whole bus. Um... Sure. So this, the total cost of transport is about three million. Um, so if somebody's interested, um, they could sponsor anywhere from eight thousand rand to eight million, three million. So what have you found? The what was the response like from sponsors? Are people keen on getting involved? Um, we've got quite a few, um, not many uh, individuals who give. 250 rand a month towards this, uh, the transport program. Um, but we've seen that with corporates, 
They want to fund education or sports, not so much the, the, the transport. Okay. Well, is it, do you find that's easier to get, to get sponsorships for that, for sports? Yes, for sports, yes, or for um, stationery or STEM. So what do you think that is? Maybe we haven't had the conversation around the importance of providing safe transport. There are so many children who struggle every single day. Um, just this week on the news, there was um, a story about pupils from KZN who walked in, um, in hippo-infested waters just to get to school. So perhaps the conversations that we are having are not um, geared towards uh, the importance of, of transport in education. Um, so tell us more about the Love Trust. Um, you've got the school. What else do you do? So in addition to the school, we've got an adult um, education program where we train ACD teachers, level four and level five teachers. Um, this is at our Nogupila school. We've got a training center here as well as um, we have partnered up with various training centers across South Africa. So Matsio, how did you get involved? What is your role in this? So I'm a fundraiser at the Love Trust and yeah, that's my full-time job, just trying to raise funds and raise awareness about the work we do so that we can continue to make an impact. And often in overseas countries, you hear of the concept of donor fatigue. Is that in South Africa? Do people say, but I've given already, you know, what more do you want me to get? Mm -hmm. um, donor fatigue is a very real um, problem that we face daily. Um, sometimes you get individuals who have given to other organizations and they say, shoo, but my money's all gone to that other organization or with, um, or corporates also, the same thing. So what would you like to uh, tell, yep, yeah, what would you like to tell corporates of individuals, why should they support you in this specific initiative? Um, we have found through our studies that um, the attendance rates have gone up. Um, so at Lena attendance rate in term one of this year was recorded at 95% and term two at 91%, that is much, much higher than government schools. And because of this, our learners do very well academically because they're here every single day. So, so what, what do you hear from these pupils? You know, the, this whole thing of, take, of such a trek to get to school for some of them, what difference would it make if you can, like the American system, drop every single kid off at school every day? Well, um, this would save a lot of our children from bullying on their way to school. It would um, save them from child abductions and the crimes. I mean, we see so many cases of drugs in, in, in Tembisa and they're able to kind of avoid that on their way to school. Yeah, is there anything you would like to add about this, about this and the work you generally do? Um, we're constantly looking for funders to continue with what we do. Um, it, we rely solely on funding. So if there's anyone who's got a connection or has some funds, um, we're constantly looking and we are available um, on our website. You can search for what we do and see what you'd like to give to, um, what speaks to your heart, whether it's the children or the adults we um support. Well, Mamatsia Motumela, thanks so much for speaking to us. Thank you so much for having me, Linda.